In this video, we're going to be comparing microphones all the way from $400 to $100. Things like the expensive SM7B $400 all the way down to the cheapest mic on the table, the Fifine K688 coming in at a grand total of $79. All of these microphones have been tested and in this video, you're going to get blind audio samples where you can't see the mic, but you can hear them. And you're going to be able to figure out which one of these microphones sounds the best. And I have to tell you something. It is a shocking result because even I didn't expect it and I was blown away. So let's get into it. But before we do that, let me tell you about our sponsors over at Lightstream. Lightstream is the solution that you need if you are a console streamer. If you're wanting to be able to use professional overlays, put things that are on your stream and not have to have a PC to do any of the setup, you could do everything directly from your console and have a great looking stream, Lightstream is the service for you. Right now, you can use my coupon code DARKENSIRUS to get 25% off your first three months of membership. And you can use that even if you already had Lightstream. Go ahead and see all the videos I've done on them in the past. I love that brand, go check it out. I fully support it and uh, thank you to Lightstream for sponsoring this video. All right, so let's go over the four mics on this table that we're about to review. But before we do that, let me tell you about the premise behind this video. See this microphone right here? This is the Logitech Blue Sona, and it focuses on the microphone. You'll see this is a $350 microphone. And this microphone was something that got a review from someone named Harris Heller over at Senpai Gaming. I'm sure you all have heard of him. But I did a reaction video to his uh, kind of review of this microphone, and I just pooped all over it because it sounded crunched and bad. And then after kind of like a heated YouTube discussion uh, through comments, I decided to buy it. And then I said, why just compare it to the SM7B it's targeting? Let me show you that other microphones possibly, we'll see today, sound better. Let me tell you about the microphones we're reviewing today. And this is obviously in no order that you'll see reflected later in the video, but just so that you have them. We're gonna be reviewing the Rode Pod mic coming in at $99. This microphone is a fantastic Fantastic mic. It is a XLR dynamic microphone. Beside that one is the Shure SM7B, an industry standard that you see on a lot of live streams and podcasts. This comes in at $399 for this microphone. Beside the SM7B is the Fifine K688, and this microphone comes in at $79.99, an $80 microphone that also offers USB-C connectivity as well as XLR connectivity. So not only are you going to be able to use this on any computer without some kind of audio interface. You can plug it into an audio interface for a little bit better quality and uh, yeah, pretty cool. The microphone beside it and the last one we're reviewing is the Logitech Blue Sona mic. This mic cost $349 and this mic is the one that I'm referencing that kind of started this whole video where we're comparing about $800, $900 worth of mics. I think it's about $1,000 worth of mics today and saying which one objectively sounds the best straight out of box, no EQ and all of the little sliders on the back like the SM7B and the Blue Sona have dip switches to adjust boost and bass. Those are off. So this is just raw performance of the microphones which one sounds the best out of box. So let's get into those audio samples. You're gonna hear four audio samples, and I'm actually reading Sun Tzu's The Art of War, the opening part for each of these microphones, and you're gonna be able to hear a long excerpt from each one, and then we'll come back and reveal which mic was which, and tell you about my thoughts about each microphone. Sun Tzu said, the art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence, it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected. The art of war, then, is governed by five constant factors to be taken into account in one's deliberations when seeking to determine the conditions obtaining in the field. These are 1. The moral law 2. Heaven 3. Earth four, the commander, and five, method and discipline. Sun Tzu said, the art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road to either safety or to ruin. Hence, it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected. The art of war then is governed by five constant factors to be taken into account in one's deliberations when seeking to determine the conditions obtaining in the field. These are, one, the moral law, 2. Heaven, 3. Earth, 4. The Commander, and 5. Method and Discipline. Sun Tzu said, The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence, it is a subject of inquiry 
which can on no account be neglected. The art of war, then, is governed by five constant factors to be taken into account in one's deliberations when seeking to determine the conditions obtaining in the field. These are, one, the moral law, two, heaven, three, earth, four, the commander, and five, method and discipline. Sun Tzu said, The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence, it is a subject of inquiry, which it can on no account be neglected. The art of war, then, is governed by five constant factors to be taken into account in one's deliberations when seeking to determine the conditions obtaining in the field. These are, one, the moral law, two, heaven, three, earth, four, the commander, and five, method and discipline. So, you gotta tell me, which one of these four microphones did you like the best? Was it mic one, two, three, or four? And I have to go ahead and say, out of all the microphones here, there was a clear, better sounding microphone to me. And now you might have a different thought. Make sure you drop down in the comments and say which one you think sounds the best before I reveal them right now. Go ahead and take a moment. And while you're down there, click the like button so more people can see videos like this, and make an educated decision hearing raw audio sounds when it comes to microphones. Let people have as many options as they need when they make a big purchase like this. All right, for the reveal, microphone one, the first microphone you heard was the Rode Pod Mic coming in at $99. And I'm gonna break down the positives and negatives of all these mics in just a moment. Microphone two, was the SM7B from Shure, the $399 microphone. Microphone number three was the Logitech Blue Sona mic for $350. And then microphone four was the Fifine K688. Now, I don't know how you landed in that, and just if drop in the comments, let me know. Please tell me what are your thoughts. Uh, again, all of these are raw, out of box, no EQ applied, nothing was done, nothing was touched. This is just exactly the experience you get. Obviously you should know, you can probably EQ all of the microphones to sound what you need, but I just wanna go ahead and break down my thoughts and opinions and just kind of tell you what they are. So I'm gonna go through each microphone and just kind of spell that out for you. Also, you need to remember that all of these thoughts are opinions based on my voice. And depending on what your voice is like, especially if you're a higher pitched voice, some of these microphones might have a little bit of different sibilance for you. So take that into effect and just think about that. All right, and I actually, <laughs> I took notes for this. So I'm just gonna kinda go off the notes to make sure that we have what we need. So for the Rode Pod mic, I said that it's missing some lower end, even though it feels balanced, but it feels muddy in the 300 to 700 hertz range. And if you're an audiophile, you know what that means. If you don't, that's the range that the natural human voice lies, that our natural frequencies are. And so if it sounds muddy there, you can usually clean it up by lowering them down and boosting some of the other ends, the highs and the lows give it a little bit more clarity. It just sounds a little kind of muffled. You should EQ, and that's what I said, you should EQ the mids down, uh, and then also boost the bass frequencies slightly to give it just a little bit more body, and the highs just give it a little bit more presence. Microphone two was the SM7B, and this one's controversial because I bought this microphone when I had the opportunity to pick it up, and I was like, man, this microphone's gonna sound great. But I gotta be honest, it has been the most difficult microphone to mix for my voice because I feel like out of box, it doesn't, it doesn't sound great. Am I bad? Please tell me. If you're an SM7B owner, am I the only person who feels that way? Maybe it's my voice. Maybe I just have a weird voice. So for the SM7B, I said that under 300 hertz, it felt very compressed and crunched in. And what I mean by that is there was a lot of, just a lot of frequency push on the lower ends, and then it needs some presence in the top end. Now what you need to know is on the bottom of the microphone, there are little switches that will do what I just said, but I've tested it obviously both ways, and even boosting the high on this doesn't clear things up. So I'm still EQing in post as well as in my audio software to make sure that these things sound great. So $400 microphone, you can go back and listen to that sound sample again and let yourself be the judge of that. Number three was the Blue Sona. And I said, it is a clean sound, but it lacks body and presence. Even though it's flat, the mids feel crunched and are over pushed and the bass notes are muffled. And when I was listening to the recording from Harris, when he put that up online, I listened to it on my phone first. And then I was like, eh, I'm gonna review this. Let me listen to it on really nice headphones. And so I did. And that same piece, it just didn't 
it just didn't have clarity it, it was felt very compressed over compressed very crunched all of those mid frequencies just sounded like they were laying on top of each other and just felt pushed and it, it just felt like it was a bad EQ I'm not saying that the microphone's completely trash if I have to mess with it that much just like the SM7B that's so much to have to do out of box even especially when there's no software provided with the microphone to be able to do it you know it's an XLR mic I guess it's not gonna have software but regardless when it's not there you're relying on other processors and other things to make that microphone sound good I did say and this is one thing that I love about the blue sona and this microphone will probably stay in my kit honestly because it does have that onboard hardware gain where you turn on 48 volts and it will give you an extra 25 decibels of gain so it is really nice because even though I'm getting the same kind of sound at a specific gain it's a lot lower than the other microphones on the table what does that mean less hiss in the track so this microphone does have a lot less hiss and line signal which is great but I should not have to EQ this microphone as much as I have to especially when your competitor product the SM7 be I don't have to touch as much to make it sound as good this one requires a lot of extra and if I'm not an audio person and, and I don't understand this microphone might be really difficult to mix and now just like the SM7B there is on the back this magnetic piece that comes off and there are switches on the back if the camera focuses for the same thing for presence and like a bass cut. So there are things to help some of those things, but even when I tested it, I didn't see a huge difference. And not something that would make me feel even more comfortable saying a consumer is gonna grab this and it's gonna sound great out of box. And mic four, which is the K688, I said that this mic sounds so good and I don't know if you heard it and this is not me trying to like fanboy fi fine but when I plugged this microphone in not only did I immediately love the way my voice sounded on this I didn't have to EQ it I did to see what would happen and it was very minimal bass boost and a touch of mids pulled out and it just it required almost no adjustments and for a microphone out of box experience especially at the price point of 80 when you're targeting budget consumers that's just nuts and so go back compare them to that fourth recording tell me did you think that this microphone do you agree with me that this mic sounds so good raw a couple of other things I said great presence clean bass notes maybe a little bit too much the 12k to 6k range that's that higher end like treble range the sibilance part of things it's a little too much there you probably want to pull some of that out in eq but it could be adjusted i said that the mic sounds eq'd but it's not and now let me just tell you about all of the things on the table in my opinions, I think you've probably already figured it out. I'm gonna rank them from like worst sound to best sound so that you can see between these four microphones, which one do I think out of all of these options is the one that you should get. If you're looking at an XLR dynamic microphone and you've looked at industry standard Rode Pod for budget, or you're looking at industry standard, the $400 microphone from Shure, the SM7B. Which one of these should you get based upon sound? All right, if I were to rate these microphones, here's how I would do it. And hopefully you have the same rating. If not, make sure you let me know in the comments and let's let's start a discussion. Maybe you can jump into a live stream and, uh, and kind of see that. I stream on like Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. I multi-stream, but let's rate these. Come jump and stream if you disagree. Let's, let's chat about it. At number four, I'm gonna choose the Rode Pod mic. And by me putting this at number four, I'm not saying that this is a bad microphone. I'm saying at the options that I see on the table from EQ, I think that this one has not the best sound that you can get on the table. For $99, it is fantastic. I think that it lacks a little bit of that just really rich tone that comes from a dynamic microphone especially one where you can get really close and get proximity effect. I feel like this one is very situational. And if you're not positioned just right, this microphone can be uh, very hard to, to mix for. Also the same thing, uh, not having a dedicated windscreen does cause a problem. I didn't think it would be, even though it has an integrated one. I thought this would not have an issue, but a lot of people pick one up and put one extra. For number three on my list, this will shock you. The $400 Shure SM7B. I love this microphone and I love seeing this microphone. And for some reason, this microphone gives a little bit of, what do you say? This microphone gives like authority 
when you see this microphone, you, you might, I don't know, feel like that person is serious or whatever the case, or maybe they just have money to burn. I don't, doesn't really know, but this microphone is seen so much that it is easy to know and easy to see, and it becomes something that becomes natural that you see in professional setups. So for me to rate this number three out of all of the ones on the table, and this is the most expensive microphone on the table, that hurts me out of the options that are on the table. So sound-wise, again, you should go listen to it raw, and that was recorded at 320-bit audio rate. I mean, you should, you should go take a listen to it. All right, for number two on our list, I'm going to choose the Blue Sona. And as much as I wanted to not like this mic, from the hate that I got from it and just trying to prove people wrong, this microphone is and does sound good after an EQ. And not to mention the fact that it does have such low hiss and low sound. This microphone is impressive and it does look really nice. So when it comes to blue, all I have to say is, do I apologize for my comments to Harris? And Harris, do I apologize for you for making a video like this? No, because my statements were the same. There are other microphones that you can do that make the exact same process. You still can get a budget option that sounds if good, if not as good, if not better than the Blue Sona and all this gimmicky stuff that they said, a cloud lifter included and all that stuff. It's just marketing. The SM7B, sure, requires a lot of gain. It is powered almost by any uh, interface. Everyone's saying that it can't be powered. It blows my mind, okay? Yes, there are some interfaces that can only go to like 50 something and you're not gonna get a good signal. But I only run like 63, what did I run? Oh, I decibeled all of these by the way, just so that you can go ahead and know. We'll get to that in a second, but I only ran this on 62 decibels of gain on a Wave XLR for these testing. So most mixers can reach that if that's the case. All right, and for mic number one on this table, that leaves the cheapest microphone, which I did not expect to be the result. It kind of weirds me out because Fifine, I've reviewed probably, I think 10 Fifine mics, and all of them have sounded great, a couple of them better than others, a couple of them a little cheap feeling, but this one being metal body, metal frame, XLR, and USB connectivity, that wasn't what weighed into it. It was the sheer sound of this microphone. It just sounded amazing and it didn't require a bunch of EQ for it to sound great. And for $88, you, if you're looking at these videos thinking, which of these microphones should I pick up? Uh, nine times out of 10, unless you have a situation where you need to have a quieter microphone, whatever the case, I'm going to recommend the Fifine K688. It is that good. It's been on my setup since I got it, testing it out. I just streamed with it the other night. If you want to hear what it sounds like EQ'd, go check out my channel. I just did a stream with this as the main microphone, and I just, I can't believe that $80 gave this quality. Now, there's a couple things that I want to add to this point. I know this has nothing to do really with like quality. All of, I have all the boxes here, and I've left them here for a reason, because some part of it, when you spend $400, $300, you expect an unboxing experience to be nice. I know that sounds stupid, but I'm highlighting it for a reason. The Blue Sona microphone has a really cool unboxing experience because when you open it, it actually has like really nice marketing on the inside. I'm gonna drop a microphone. It has really nice marketing on the inside. And then as you open this, they even include right here a red windscreen to go on top of the microphone, which by the way, these windscreens are magnetic, which is so cool. Really nice experience from them. I opened this at the same time as the K688 because I got the microphones in the mail at the same time. Oh, and by the way, I wanna say this, the Blue Sona mic, I bought out of pocket full price. The SM7B, I bought out of pocket. The Rode Pod mic, I bought out of pocket. The K688, it was the only microphone that just got sent to me for a review that just happened to fall at the exact same time as this Blue Sona mess. And so it just became a part of the review and it's still, oh my gosh, it was amazing. But something else that was really awesome about that microphone was the unboxing experience for this mic but as i opened it it had this like treasure chest feel it felt like a much more expensive product to unbox it just it did and it was the same day i unboxed the blue sona and i was thinking like if this unboxing experience was the Blue Sona's unboxing experience, I'd be blown away. But this $80 microphone that not only sounds, in my opinion, better than the other three on the table, had a much better unboxing experience, it just blew me away. And I know that's kind of 
petty or stupid or whatever the case, but it's just something that I found. And it wasn't just me. I asked a couple people uh, who to open the boxes with me and I didn't tell them prices. And they also said that this unboxing experience was so much better. So what am I saying out of all of this? What you should get out of this video is not that these microphones don't sound good. All of the microphones on this table have a place and a use in everyone's setup. The SM7B is used by industry professionals. The Rode Pod mic is in a bunch of podcasts that you hear consistently and are on streamers setups that you see all the time and even I have people when I recommended the Rode Pod mic that people picked it up and they still love that mic and use it. The Blue Sona, I can't get behind the hype. They're using marketing that I don't necessarily agree with and they're just using industry terms to confuse you but really what they're trying to say is this microphone has lower background sound and are trying to compare it to a microphone that's much more expensive. It just doesn't make sense. However, it sounds, it sounds pretty good. It needs some EQing, and for the regular user, the other three mics on this table, other than the 688, require a little bit of extra EQ to get them to sound nice and ready for what I would consider you know, video quality. Maybe not stream quality because it's all compressed, but for quality like this, yeah, I feel like it needs it. And so the K688 is what I would deem as the winner. And again, that still shocks me. Also, the softest windscreen of all. I think that really matters. How many times do you like your microphone, you put it up against your mouth and like rub your, maybe that's just me. Is that just me? That's just me. You know what else is just me? Checking out even more budget microphones in the video playlist that I'll put right here. You should go check them out. And uh, yeah, also make sure you go check out Lightstream. It is a fantastic platform. For you console streamers or people looking to be able to do really cool live streams, yeah, we'll see you over in those videos and uh, all the products that you saw today will be down in the description Amazon links affiliates Yeah, go support the channel go pick one up and 